Well, this week we're going to make some more progress on our organ kit. We will get the finish, the painted finish onto it, and we'll get it mostly assembled. So stay tuned and see how easy this kit is to work with. Now we are moving on to the point on our organ kit where we are going to start putting a finish on it. And you might say, those are craft sticks, those aren't the kit. But I decided to try a couple of things. Kind of my plan is, I want this in the end, I'm hoping anyway, that it will look like old oak. Because it seems to me most of these... In real life, when I see a big pump organ, they, they were usually made of oak, it seems like. Well, oak has a very yellow undertone with kind of a, a reddish brown over it. It's kind of, when you break it down, that's kind of how it looks. So what I did, I picked out three, three colors of yellow paint. Um, and I took a popsicle stick for each one. I have bright yellow, which is this one. I have... Empire Gold, which is basically yellow ochre, and I have a lemon. Painted that, and then I took two colors of brown that were both a golden brown and then the cocoa. I didn't, this is the cocoa here, the golden brown's on the end. I like the golden brown better, so. And I think I like the bright yellow. I think this is how I'm gonna do it. Now for the overcoat, I just, I painted these on, the yellows on straight. Then I mixed, this with just water and did kind of a wash. On the real thing, on the kit, I'm going to use that same antiquing stain medium that I used, what did we make last? On the last piece we made, which for some reason I can't for the life of me remember what we made last. It's been one of those days. So we are going to start, I am going to start by painting all the pieces bright yellow. And this is going to look really scary, I'm afraid because it's bright yellow. So what I'm gonna do, I'm not gonna bore you with painting the whole thing. I'm just gonna squeeze some yellow out. I picked a relatively soft brush. Uh, I want it to really get in on this coat. I'm gonna try and stay out of like, this is where the mirror is gonna glue in. I'm gonna try and not get yellow paint in there. I'm gonna paint and I may even have to do two coats. I want this yellow to be, it doesn't have to be a perfect coat, but I do want it to be, I want it to be yellow. <laughs> I want this coat to be yellow so that we can, so that no matter where it shows it, you know, through the brown, it's going to look yellow. So I won't, like I said, I won't bore you with painting the whole thing. I'll just do a little bit of this. And I recommend starting, always starting your steps on the back side till you get a feel for how it's going to go on. And I have been painting these kits for a long time. I never treat them with anything. I know I was talking online with a lady the other day. She was talking about she had, she was doing some Chris and Bond kits and she'd sprayed it with a, um, a plastic primer. And I'm thinking, I never do that. And I've never had an issue. Um, maybe if you were handling these a lot, but I don't like to handle them a lot anyway because they're so delicate. So you get the idea. I'm going to continue. I'm going to paint these all with a coat of yellow. Uh, I'll let this side dry, then I'll flip it over and do the other side. I may do a second coat. When that part's all done, I'll come back and we'll go to the next step. All right, so the yellow paint is dry, and it's pretty even. It, I can't get them exactly even because if you noticed when I was putting this together, some of the pieces of plastic were a lot darker than others. Um, let's see if I have any of the 
we had two colors of the brown so it's not going to be exactly but it should even out with our next step so now that we've got this really scary yellow it's time to put our next layer on and let me be honest I don't know that this is going to work but the beauty of paint we're gonna go through this step by step if I end up changing it I'll show you that the thing I want to make sure you understand is it's just paint so if it doesn't turn out that's okay we'll just do something over it no big deal and you can do these in any color you want you look online they, they did come in all different colors a lot of them were oak but a lot were other woods also a lot of these have been in real life have been painted all different colors everything from black to bright colors so make it fit your scene do whatever you want to do but we are going to use the Ceramicote in Golden Brown and the Americana Staining and Antiquing Medium. This is the same medium we used on, and it was the table and chairs, I do remember. Just had a brain, you know, freeze yesterday. And I did tape the first part of this yesterday. I wanted this, this did involve a couple of coats of paint. Come on, go, yeah, go over my table. Let's and I don't measure on this stuff. It doesn't have to be perfectly half and half, in my opinion. Just, you know, get it the close. Don't stress. I do want to mix enough, though, that I've got enough for the whole project. Because I'm pretty sure the amount of medium will not only affect how long it takes to dry, but I think it probably affects the color in a slight way, not very much. But I'm not sure, so I want to make sure I try to have enough, a little bit more of each one in there. Come on. This stuff is pretty thick. It's almost a gelatinous kind of texture, which is kind of gross. But, you know, mix the paint in. Get it all mixed up. Approximately equal parts of the two products, the paint and the medium. But as you see, I don't measure. It doesn't, I'm not going to stress over it that much. Okay, so I think that's even. Get rid of my stir stick. Now, if I need to, I can cover this with some plastic and it will hold for a little bit, not for very long. So let me see, let me get myself ready. Let me get a wet wipe, That's a wet wipe. just so I don't get too messy. And I've got a fairly soft brush. And we're gonna brush this on. And I'm gonna try a couple of different things. Again, just like with the table and chairs, I'm gonna try a couple of different things to take this off with. Let's get a Kleenex, I think, first. Mm. I'm thinking I want just a little bit more color in this top, so I think I'm going to pause the camera I'm going to go get a little bit of a darker brown and add to this. So I'll be right back. All right. So here we go. I've got just my my usual velvet. Or this is, no, this isn't my one I usually thought I was picking up. This is espresso. And I'm actually going to put this out on my table because I don't want to put too much in. I just want just a tiny bit. A little more because once I put it in here I can't take it out okay let's try okay if you heard that squeaky noise that was my son's cat opening my door <sighs> He thinks that this room is for him. 
Okay, let's see how that looks. Mm, that's a little better. But I think I'm going to pause and get another. I think I almost want to have just a touch of red in here, just to make it a little bit more All right. variation. So I've got a little bit of bright red. Definitely don't want much of that. I think I want a little more of this brown. We're just going to play with color here. And that's the cat. If you hear that noise in the background, that's the cat getting into something. He's playing with a piece of builder's foam in the background. Okay, I do want all of this. Yeah, I want to warm up this brown a little more. It's just not enough color. All right, now let's try it. That's, that's a really cool color. Let's see how that looks. Okay. That's better. Now we've got a little more variation. I think I'm going to let it sit a little longer on there. So I'll probably paint that piece and pick another piece and paint it. This is our foot pedal. I'm let that sit. And I'll do a little more of this off camera. I'm not going to do the whole thing. I'm using my wet wipe to kind of wipe up this mess so I don't accidentally sit any of my project into that wet paint. Now, that's better. That gives more the color I'm looking for. So I am going to continue to work on this. I'm going to stain all these because I don't, I think watching me do every piece of this would probably be kind of like watching paint dry. I'll do one more piece, then we'll wipe off the foot pedal. So next time you see our project, and by letting this sit for a few minutes, it will adhere a little more. Remember when you are wiping to always wipe with the wood grain or to blot. So I'm going to turn the camera off. I'm going to continue with the rest of these pieces. When they're dry, I'll come back. We'll judge the color and see if we want to add another coat or a different color. Well, I think this turned out really cool. It's I'm going to leave it the way it is. I'm going to do a little highlighting when I get the whole thing done. You'll see that. I'm going to take just a second here and clean off my tray. Usually I do this between video segments, but I thought... I'll show you. This is why I love using the ceramic tray. This is just a cheap paint scraper from the, the hardware store. So now we have this foot pedal. And we've got the little treads and I've got a piece of... There we go had a brush hair on it. So we need to paint the, th the treads. I'm going to use just some black craft. Oh, there's my newer black. I knew I had a better container of black paint. Looked all through my drawer. I couldn't find it because it was on my table. I've got a fairly small brush here. And this will just be a matter of staying kind of in the lines. So I'm going to get this painted as best as I can. Um, when this is done, I'll be back and we will um, go ahead and glue this the rest of the way together. So let me get this painted and get it dry and I'll be back. Right, well, we're starting assembly. I'm also doing some touch-ups on my paint because when I went to glue this in, I realized I'd missed a spot. So we are actually living dangerously here and working with glue and wet paint at the same time. Now, this is the, the mix I mixed up yesterday. It's still usable, this stuff, and it's been open all night. 
it actually stays workable for quite a while. And I'm going to attempt to not get this paint onto my keyboard. All right, I had the keyboard in here once and discovered I hadn't gotten it all the way painted. So, we've got glue in there. Now the keyboard sits in this. Oh, come on. Don't scrape down through the wet paint. Trying to place it in that end and then kind of work down this end if I can. There we go. Get that in straight. Make sure everything's where we want it. And then, oops, it's seem to be a little bit off. There. Just kind of fiddle with it till everything looks straight. And then from the back, put in more glue. I always like to glue a little extra glue on the back. Now this part needs to dry before we put the cover on because I don't want any wet glue because this cover piece that pulls down over the keyboard in real life is actually not glued in. It is just set in. So this glue needs to dry and then right. I'll be back. This is our keyboard cover and it just sits up here. Um, not sure how much movement we're going to get with this because the, the piece does fit together pretty tight. I don't think we're actually going to be able to get a hold of it, but I will leave it loose like it says. Now we have our foot pedal and I've cleaned the paint off the sides of it. And it just goes in like this. And I'll have to touch up my paint on the inside there. But that's in like that. And I forgot to check my glue, so yes, still running. So now I'm going to feed some glue in from the back and I'm just I'm gluing this one from the back simply because I think it's better than trying to run it in with glue on it. The other piece we need to do now is the back. The back goes in like just goes on the back like this. So what I'm going to do just run a bead of glue. right through here, right on the edge of the back. Because I don't want to run it up here, I don't want to get it too high. Double checking that, make sure that your grain goes up and down. Oh, actually, it goes the other way. I just looked at the picture better. It actually goes this way. Oh, I've just found another place where I will be uh, painting more that I missed because I didn't realize this was going to fit in. This actually fits inside, so we will have to paint that, but that's okay. We'll make that work later. I'll touch up the paint around the edges later. These things happen. So we'll run a bead of glue just right along here. I am glad I left this off though until now because it would have been very difficult to um, get that foot pedal glued in had I not done that. And it's easy enough to fix the paint later. Now on this one we might make sure this board is wider, the bottom one is wider. That's how we know which one goes to the bottom. It's okay that we didn't get it painted earlier. It will, it will blend in just fine. We'll go through and do all those spots later. So now, I think we can probably put this piece in. Let's see if we can figure out where this goes. This goes. Right there, right, right here, I think. Is this supposed to be in further? I 
Okay, this comes out to there. Okay, according to the picture, that comes to there. Trying to consult the picture on the front of the box, which I've got over to the side, and the instructions. There we go. And this piece goes... See, I think we're going to let this dry first. So this part needs to dry, and then we'll come back and do the next step. All right, so this is where we left off on our last step. And I did go through, and I kind of touched up a little bit of the paint on the back. This is where we're going to end this week, because my week has just been really, really, really busy, and I've got to start editing this video to get it up in time for Sunday morning. And I just haven't had, literally have not had a moment to, more to work on this. I did kind of work with this paint, but it was already drying out by then. So this is where we're leaving off this week. Next week, we'll finish the assembly. We'll put some white on these little knobs here. And we'll put a clear coat on this. And I'm thinking I might do a little extra decoration to it when we get that far but we'll have to see you next week. So I hope you enjoyed this segment of the organ kit, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.